my channel and today I will be showing you all how I am getting ready for Easter. I know not everybody celebrates Easter but this look is perfect for the springtime and I love this outfit too. Like you can definitely wear this for like whatever like if you're going out with friends or family during the springtime or if you just wanted to get all dolled up for the evening, I really love this makeup look. I think it's really perfect for um, spring in general, so if you wanted to make this your like everyday look, go ahead. So I'll first be talking through how I do my hair for Easter, and then I'll be talking through my makeup routine, and then I will show you guys what my dress looks like. It's the dress that I'm wearing right now. And for those of you who are new to my channel, hi, my name is Leilani. I upload a new video every Wednesday and Saturday, so I would very much appreciate you guys clicking the subscribe button down below, as well as that little bell next to it, so then you are notified every single time I upload a new video. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so I just took my makeup off and now I'm about to do my hair. I'm not really going to do much with it for Easter, so I'm just going to re-straighten some parts of my hair just to make sure that it is super straight. And also, I'll be working on Easter too, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna wanna curl my hair or anything. I'm just gonna do some minimal stuff to my hair. To add some more volume to my hair, I'm going to be using the Marc Anthony Second Day Clean Dry Shampoo. And I'm just gonna spray that in different sections of my hair to give it some more oomph for Easter. And then I like to massage it and scratch it into my hair so then it is nice and volumized. And it also smells really refreshing too. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing to the side of my hair. I'm just gonna separate it into two chunks and then just massage and scratch it into my hair. And then last but not least, I'm going to be using the Bedhead After Party Smoothing Cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. This just tames the flyaways because I do have a lot of flyaways on the top of my head. So I like to put like a dime size amount, probably smaller than that. And then I'll just like pat this into my hair, just like on the top of my head, and make sure that there are no little flyaways flying on by. So you do not want that. And now that my hair is done, I'm going to be doing my makeup. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade medium tawny. So I'm just going to be applying this on my under eye circles and in any areas of my face that are a little bit red. And now I'm going to be using my orange beauty blender to blend in the concealer into my face, making sure that all the redness goes away before I apply my foundation. And definitely let me know in the comments down below what videos you would like me to upload. I know recently I've been uploading a lot of makeup videos, so if you like those type of videos, definitely comment that down below, or if you want me to do more lookbooks and outfit of the week videos let me know about that down below and for foundation i'm going to be using the covergirl outlast stay luminous natural glow foundation in the shade medium beige i have never used this foundation before so i'm very excited to try it out i did like swatch it on my wrist in the store so don't worry guys I think I got the right shade. I'm praying I did. I'm just applying this to my hand and then I'm gonna use my flat top face brush to just blend it into my face. It has an interesting smell to it. It smells like crackers. Like it literally smells like saltines. That's, that's very odd, but okay. This is like definitely full coverage and I'm not like that type of person. Like I don't want like a lot of coverage on my face. I just want it to be like very lightweight and stuff, but this is very heavy. Like I feel like I'm wearing a mask right now. Okay, 
thankfully, the more I blend this in with my beauty blender, the more like matte and less shiny it becomes. Okay, so um, I definitely think that that foundation is awesome, but it's just like not the foundation for me, if you get what I'm saying. Like, it definitely gives you full on coverage. Like, you could probably use this for like prom or something, like, if you wanted to do your own makeup. But yeah, I don't know. I'm more of like a light to medium coverage type of gal. Like, I don't really like heavy, like, full face makeup. Like, I like to keep it like very natural looking and subtle. But this is like a little extreme for me. It's still really nice. Like, you don't see any of my redness at all now. So next I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Matte Finishing Powder in the shade Light to Medium. So I'm just going to be applying this all over my face with my big fluffy face brush. Next I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette to fill in my eyebrows. I'm going to be using this color all the way in the corner and it is called Charmed, I'm sure. So I'm going to use a spoolie brush to just brush my eyebrows into place. And then I'm going to be using my small angled brush by e.l.f. and dipping it into the eyeshadow and just filling in my brows. Now I'm going to use my Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey Palette and use the shade Honey Brittle, which is the middle shade right here. It's like a peachy coral color, and I'm going to be applying this all over my crease. I love this shade because it's like a very fun spring slash summer shade. So it's just really cute. It really makes your eyes stand out and pop, and I love how pigmented it is, but like just Too Faced products in general. I'm very pigmented, I'm pretty sure I've said that a billion times on my channel. I love Too Faced products. So I'll be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette again, and I will be using the shade Bellini, which is this shade right in the middle, right there. It's just a really pretty rosy champagne color, and it just makes your whole eyeshadow look complete and just goes BAM and it's just like a showstopper. I love this eyeshadow so much so I'm going to be applying it all over my eyelids. So now I will be going back in with the same shade from the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey eyeshadow palette. So I'm just using the Honey Brittle eyeshadow again to just really define that pink color into my makeup look. So for mascara, I will be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and this is one of their new ones. I literally got it for $10 at Ulta, which was amazing, because I had this like, month long sale and each day they had a makeup product for sale so one day I was stopping in Ulta to buy that foundation and the face powder that I used in the beginning of this video and I happened to stumble upon this and it was like 10 bucks let's see how this makes my lashes look I'm really excited to try it out I always love trying out new mascaras. Ooh, I am really loving how much length it gives. Wow, that's insane. It like made my lashes like 10 times longer already. And of course, since I've been using so many Too Faced products already in this video, why not add another? So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette, and I'll be using the bronzer that is in this palette. I love the look that it gives my face. Like, it's not super bronzy, like, I'm not like a bronze goddess, but it does give me enough bronze so then, like, I do look a little sculpted, which is really nice, so... 
I like it. And it's like creamy too, this palette. So it just looks extra nice. Like it's a lot better than my drugstore bronzers because of that creamy consistency. For blush, I'll be using the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. And just the packaging is so adorable. It's literally shaped in a rose, so it's just extra cute already. And it's like very lightweight, like the color. Like it's not like very pigmented on my face, but it just gives like the perfect amount of rosiness to it. Cause in the springtime, I don't wanna go like super bam with my blush and my bronzer. Cause like I'll save that for the summertime. Cause you know, you gotta have that bronze goddess look. For highlight, I'll be using the MAC highlighter in the shade Soft and Gentle. I love how this highlighter gives my cheeks like a nice curly finish. It's so beautiful and it's really pigmented too. So if you're looking for a high-end highlighter that is fully worth your money, definitely uh, invest in like MAC highlights. I love this one. I use this one for prom and I was in love. It stayed throughout the entire night, which was awesome. And last but not least, I will be applying this Tarte lipstick in the shade Island Life. It's from their newest collection. And this packaging is absolutely adorable. It's like a blue marble. I don't know if I've used it in a recent video. I honestly forget what makeup products I use whenever I film makeup tutorials, but this is literally so cute. I love this shade. It's perfect for spring and summer, and I just love it. So that is it with my Easter makeup and now I'll be showing you guys what I'll be wearing on Easter and just the finished product in general with my hair, my makeup, and my outfit all done. my Easter get ready with me video thank you so much for watching make sure you give it a thumbs up and click that lovely subscribe button down below so you're notified every single time I upload a new video and I would absolutely love if you guys can comment down below any video requests that you have for me I would greatly appreciate it so that is it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye